everybody, today I am talking about Amelia Earhart, honestly one of my favourite people in history and I should mention I will be looking down because I have notes so I'm, I will be looking down at my notes and these are just sort of the major details so I hope you enjoy. Uh, Amelia Mary Earhart was born on July the 24th, 1897, disappeared 2nd July 1937 and declared dead January 5th, 1939. She was an American aviation pioneer, writer and writer. Earhart was the first female avatar to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. She set many other records, was one of the first aviators to promote commercial air travel, wrote best-selling books, about her flying experiences and was instrumental in the formation of the 99s, an organisation for female pilots. Born and raised in Akiston, Akiston, Kansas and later in Des Moines, Lowa, Al Hart developed a passion for adventure at a young age, steadily gaining flight flying experience from her 20s. 1928, Al Hart became the first female to cross the Atlantic by aeroplanes. By airplane accompanying pilot Wilma Stokes, for which she achieved a celebrity status. In 1932, piloting at Lockhead Vega 513, Earhart made a non stop solo transatlantic flight, becoming the first woman to achieve such a feat. She received the United States Distinguished Flying Cross for this accomplishment. In 1935, Earhart became a visiting faculty member at um, Perode University as an advisor to Orientual Engineering and a career counsellor to female students. She was also a member of the National Women's Party and an early supporter of the Equal Rights Amendment, known as one of, known as one of the most inspirational American figures. In investigation from the late 1920s throughout the 1930s, Earhart's legacy is often compared to the early Orientual um, uh, figures like First Lady, uh, the career pioneer of a Charles Lindbergh, um, Eleanor Roosevelt for their close friendship and lasting impact on the issue of women's causes from that period. During an attempt at becoming the first woman to complete a circumnational flight of the globe in 1937 in Perude funded Lockhead um, model 10E Electra, Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan disappeared over the Central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island. The two were last seen in, in Ley, New Guinea on July 2nd, 1837 on the last land stop before Howland Island and one of their final legs of the flight. It is genuinely presumed that she and Noonan died somewhere in the Pacific during circumstation just three weeks prior to her 40th birthday, nearly one year and six months after she and Noonan dis uh, disappeared. Earhart was officially declared dead. Investigations and significant public interest in their disappearance still continue over 80 years. Decades after her presumed death, Earhart was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 1968 and the National Women's uh, Hall of Fame in 1973. She now has several commemorative, um, commemorative memorials named in her honour around the United States, including an urban park, an airport, residence hall, a museum, a research foundation, a bridge, a cargo ship, a... Uh, Earthfield Dam, four schools, a hotel, a playhouse, a library, multiple roads and more. She also has a minor planet, planetary corona and newly discovered lunar crater named after her. She is ranked ninth on flying's list of the 51 heroes of creation. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for your view um, and please press the button the, the button with the word subscribe in it uh thank you and goodbye